Yo, what's up YouTube? MD14 back here with uh, some weekend news for you guys. I'm trying to, uh, you know, make this a regular thing. Once, like I said, hopefully you're liking this content. Let me know in the comments below uh, if you're liking this format where I'm doing walkthroughs on a live stream, but I'm doing like daily news, um, daily news, tech videos, all that stuff as my morning content. So that basically you're getting two videos a day on well, some days if I decide to stream that day and everything, which by the way, come check me on streaming. Uh, twitch.tv slash md14 or you can check it out here on youtube as well just make sure to hit the like and subscribe button because it does help me out on the road to 2k um one thing who's not on the road to 2k is uh concord concord came and went earlier this summer um not only that the the, the i don't know what happened to the studio if they were um you know disbanded within the sony system but basically uh firewalk uh, I believe it's Firewalk. Firewalk is no longer no longer a thing um, as Concord. I believe it was like 11 days, which we'll find out right here. Uh, an article here from VGC that Sony President's Sony President reflects on why Concord has failed. Hiroki Totoki discuss what went wrong and how PlayStation can definitely learn from it. And we're gonna learn. We're gonna see if they if they learn their lesson. Basically, you know, we're gonna we're gonna find out right here. Uh, but yeah, during a Q&A session. Uh, following the its last financial earning call, Sony management was asked numerous questions about the uh, about the live service games, which was shut down 11 days after launch, which is absolutely insane. I don't think I've seen I don't think I've seen anything like this in gaming history happen. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know if there was a game that happened to shut down 11 uh, less than 11 days. I don't. I think Concord is the winner. I think Concord's the winner here. Um, I know I played Concord. It was eh at most, at, at most, I guess six at most. Um, it wasn't for me. It just wasn't anything uh, spectacular. Um, and like for me, it, and like for me, it, it was just like oh, just another hero shooter game. That it just it, it wasn't doing anything unique. It wasn't doing anything unique, and uh, it wasn't something I'm like, well, let me go back and play this game. Uh, how the game was presented and how and how i saw the game presented at least at least how the, like how i saw it in my point of view and other others had the same point of view as well um how the game was presented it seemed like a, like a knockoff um like a knockoff uh uh what's that game called marvel oh uh, Ga marvel's guardians of the galaxy i would have rather that to be honest and i guess it's a sh i mean i guess it's kind of a shame they cannot or I don't see them bringing this title back in in a way. I mean, there's, there's, I mean, there's no studio, so there's obviously they're not doing to. But like, if they like, if there was like another timeline where if they were to bring this as as a story based game, I probably would have liked that a little bit more. But and then if you want to act like as a shooter in a way, then that's fine. Like, story based wise, I don't. I don't. Anyway, it's not happening. It's a long time. This is like definitely got another. Another timeline timeline I'm thinking about here. But anyway, Totoki explains the uh, company for it, its life service uh, is still a learning process that has uh, that had that had it that pff, can't speak and that it had to take lessons from what happened with Concord. Uh, quote: Currently, we we are still in process of learning. He said in an interpreter uh, via via interpreter and basically with regards of to to new IP. Of course, we do we do not know the results until you. You actually try it uh so for us for our reflections we we probably need to have a lot of gates including user testing and internal evaluation and the timing of such gates uh, and then and then oh and then we need to bring them forward and we should we should have we should have done those gates much earlier than we did um yes obviously <laughs> obviously there's many gates maybe actually listen to people get some feedback the first sign of where concord um uh, there were many signs we, there were many signs before like concord was giving when when the first closed beta was happening um you had to be in uh it'd be in pre-order yet you, you, you had a pre order game to get in for the closed beta either on pc or playstation and then closer to the date i think it was like just a day before i think it was just a day before which also does not give enough time as well for uh to relay information to people i know yes the internet is fast information comes out comes at us uh really uh very quickly 
But just giving like if someone was like, oh no, I, oh you're gonna try out Concord this weekend, and they're like, oh no, I didn't pre-order it, and then you know someone maybe they're going away for the weekend, or maybe they they're going out for, or something like that, or they're planning on playing something else. Um, it didn't give people enough time to prepare, you know, because I think it was a day before. Uh, if you had a PlayStation Plus, uh, then you were able to try out the close uh, close beta. But where for everything else, you had to pre-order the game either PC or if you didn't have a PlayStation Plus uh, subscription. Uh, but not only that, from that, that also didn't give a good sign from there. Um, then then they had the open beta, and that had less players. <laughs> that had less players than the closed beta. That should tell you something. Like, hey, something's not working. Because the fewer numbers should have been the closed beta, but the fact that your open beta had less players, that should tell you something. At least it had less players on the on on the steam on the steam side of things in fact let me just actually check right here I, if i'm able to actually uh i, don't, I think like all the information is almost gone now like it's it's practically lost legacy this game uh which is very like it's, it's wild wild to think about um i don't think i can even check it concord beta <laughs> is that possible to look up stuff the beta i can't i don't think i can find it um i as far as i remember there were less numbers of people because even um when the open beta happened it was hard for me it was hard for me to even just find like a match and everything like that's all right my cat's running around all over the place she's she's like fine you're talking to other people i'm just gonna just flip this toy in front of you dad anyway um also we have uh some of the organizations so going beyond the the boundaries of those organizations in terms of development and, and also sales, I think we could have been a much smoother. So clearly this one just happened to sneak, sneak through the cracks. I know Sony um, shut down like a lot of uh, other live service games. That was the, uh, the um, Ellie, Ellie and every, uh, the Last of Us live, live service game uh, that was canceled. And like, uh, like, like, it makes me wonder, like, how bad was that one that you that they had to cancel it? You know, like, because if concord made it out how bad was that one in a way uh but it, you know it's it's very it's it's just happened it's just, it just happened that this one just snuck right through or someone just kept on uh like no no this one's already done like it, like it, just give it five more minutes in the oven it's practically done it's gonna make a lot of money trust trust me on this and then it cost it cost them uh it cost them a lot it cost them a lot and obviously yes they will definitely be um be learning from this i think like uh you'll be getting you won't be getting as much experiments because losing 400 million plus is not that's no small change it's not give like the game underperform or the game did not sell like the game it just did not sell at all if people did buy the game they returned it you know uh which is now funny because people are looking for copies of the game because it's like i said it's lost it's lost legacy and everything so um yeah so I, I mean it's good to see that they are learning from it um you should always learn from your mistakes um but yeah this is uh i don't <laughs> i don't know what else to say here it's I, mean, I guess it's good to see that they're learning from this week from their mistakes uh it's, it's interesting to see what like their like what their like game plan is now like are they going to be sticking to more um uh, like story-based games um it's like Sony's always been known for like you know your like your like your like adventure or story based games. Um, you know you don't see like you know you always hear people like man I would love like a Jack and Dax uh Jack and Dex uh, Dexter game or stuff like that, but they're just sticking to like what works and what makes them money. Like here's another God of War, here's another Last of Us, you know, um, here's another Uncharted. Um, but now like they're also exploring another Spider Man, of course um you know but like also they you know they're also it, they're also exploring things like on like on the pc side of things as well so um so it, i don't know it would it's it's good that they learn it's, it's good that they learn their lesson here um it will be it came back like it would it would have been crazy if they're like yeah well like they just like <laughs> just be like we don't know what happened we're still trying to figure out like no like like clearly this one snuck right through and sadly an entire studio had to pay the price uh it's gonna be interesting to see uh like because like i think what marathon is is up next and and uh it's interesting to see what's what's going to be happening next with uh with sony and and any any upcoming development of things so yeah anyway let me know your thoughts on 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 all of this 
and uh and sony learning from their mistakes and uh having setting up gates you know maybe look at those numbers of open open and closed beta because the signs were there like even <laughs> even i was looking i was like this game is not gonna sell well whatsoever and like that kind of makes me wonder about games like i i still get like P, I still get like PR stuff for Home Stars. How is that one still going? And not only that, how's that one like not on PC? I would have thought a game like Foam Stars would have made its way to PC by now. And that shocks me, you know? So how, how are they still making like are they make like are they making money? Home Stars? I gotta what's up with that game, you know? Uh, there's a lot of live service games. I'm like, how are you still around? <laughs> you know, in, in a way. But yeah, let me know your thoughts about this. Uh, I'll, I'll love to read all your opinions on, on everything. I love to read the comments that you guys leave. Uh, I do appreciate it. It does help me out. It, it just, it makes me happy to see that, you know, there's some voices out there and everything. So even if they are the silly voices, I'm sure there'll be someone in the comments being like, um, this, this didn't, they're going to set up gates for, for wokeness and whatever, whatever. I, hey, I thank you for your comment, you know, <laughs> but make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And as always, everyone have yourself a damn good one.